to the highway. But we're gonna get straight off the highway. Because <laughs> we need petrol. Ooh, probably should slow down. It's coming in hot. Good morning, good morning. Uh, the time has come, finally it's that time of year again. And uh, while, oh look at the sky in there, camera looks pretty cool. Anyway, while I wait uh, in the queue for McDonald's, <laughs> which is uh, never classy, but I've got to get something and uh, get moving. So I'm on my way to the barge, it's at a rock time. Biggest comp of the year, best comp of the year. Two, uh, two sessions of fishing, or two days of fishing, three sessions of fishing two days of fishing yeah so saturday two sessions sunday one session and i've got the skiff on my roof someone's taking my kayak uh so we're going to be trying to hit at least two skiff trips as well so that's five trips surely i can catch a fish in five trips hopefully one on the skiff hopefully smash a couple oh here i gotta order one second good yeah anything else uh no that's it cheers thanks yeah, my window's broken in this car and I haven't got it fixed yet, so <laughs> that's why I'm opening the door if you're wondering. Breakfast ordered, we've got ice, we've got bait. I sort of don't have bait actually, I should have been, oh, I should have checked for bait. I think we're semi-organised for the drive. Um, yeah, so yeah, it's definitely like the like, coolest comp of the year. It's the one like a lot of people look forward to. You go to North Stradbroke, hit the barge, takes you over to a pretty cool little island. And I know I've said this before, but like it's just so cool because you get over there and like everyone's on a level playing field because no one no one can fish it regularly so unless they like there's only one or two guys that can sort of get there in any kind of regular form so everyone's sort of at this spot where anything could happen it's a really good fishery on on days where it's firing sometimes it's a hard fishing place but but in general like the, everything's on the platter like you can get like every, anything's an option or a possibility you know what i mean like anything from a marlin GTs, big mackerel. It's right out on like the a nice far tip, like because it's out on the island, there's lots of current. You could get anything, wahoo, dorado, anything, like tuna. Uh, and then if the fishing's tough, you can even switch to things like demersals, like snapper and um, spangled emperor. So there's heaps of options and it's just such a cool fishery. And everyone's camping there over the whole weekend. So everyone gets to know each other, you know, everyone has a couple of beers together and it's it's just a good environment. So um, everyone really particularly, and I know I know I really look forward to it. So I'm pumped to get there. I guess I should get driving um, and then we'll jump on the barge, probably be the uh, standard barge shots and then we'll be there. Better go and uh, check uh, in with Ant and somehow get a key to the gate because I'm sort of bumming in uh, Ant's camp spot. He's got it all set up for me and he doesn't like camping but this uh, year and over the last year he's got all set up with his new little four wheel drive and uh, he's uh, all about camping all of a sudden so he's um, got it all set up. He's been here, he's been here since Tuesday so he's been here the, since the beginning of the week. Uh, the best thing about it for me is I get to just rock up <laughs> and the whole campsite's already. He claims he's got a nice stretch of bed and a mattress and everything for me. So I'm just going to sort of rock in. We'll get that under wraps, go for a little walk and we'll have a look at the beach. And then think about fishing and offloading some of this stuff. Look how full my car is. I'm just one guy and I've got everything from an outboard to prizes for the comp to my gear. And, uh... It's just a very full car, lots of goodie bags. The goodie bags took up most of the room, actually. I have to sort that out, too. I'm told Ant's out on the water, so I'm just going to go and walk into his tent anyway. 
that's what I need that pass thank you mate sweet fancy stretcher beds yes oh you know what I forgot a sleeping bag and everything how cool is this very nice fancy stretcher bed and I forgot to bring any bedding I didn't bring a pillow I didn't bring a sleeping bag I'm an idiot basically it's all right we've got extra towels I'll just use a towel <laughs> I'm like a bum I thought I'd name this. Come and grab your welcome pack. Um, we'll try to get through it as quickly as possible and then we'll move on to the next bit. Uh, yeah. So, we're up at Adda. We've done the, uh, uh, the briefing and obviously at briefing everyone sort of gets a couple of beers into them and uh, I think I got one or two more than I probably needed in but that's good it's all uh, a big social event so you get to see all the guys you haven't seen for a while so it was pretty cool but here we are on the first morning I had a quick uh, I had a go at uh, trying to catch something on the skiff yesterday but it didn't work out <laughs> trolled around good surf launch it was no problems but uh, didn't actually end up catching anything at all so this will be the first video and it's uh, about maybe 10 past 5. I've tried to get myself back in order. I've had some cup of noodles <laughs> and some muesli so hopefully that's enough to sort of get me going. Feeling pretty good actually. So we'll walk down. Hopefully this is a good day. I never catch anything at Anna. Just uh, scrape myself up. Jeez, it's a comfy bed. I tell you what, I picked the right camping buddy. Ants come through with the goods. The little setup's pretty sweet. And the beds have been super comfy, so pretty much just passed out last night. Far out, no mucking around. Straight down, straight out. All right, better get signed up. See so Dennis and get signed in and we'll do this. You guys are good to go. Good, right, launch. good. good luck out there, hey? Good luck, right? Hey, good you luck, mate. Uh, 30 minute uh, wait. Oh. Being penalised. Good to go. Good to go. Yeah, Thank you. Redemption day. <laughs> so the fishing was very tough for Adder. I pretty much caught almost nothing bar a Mac tuna and a few things, so nothing worth writing home or making a video about, that's for sure. So there might be a few clips of uh, the Mac tuna and some Adder rock, but uh, I think this could turn into a skiff only trip, unfortunately. <laughs> but uh, put that in there for launch it's probably going to get a little wet and let's see if we can blast out in this thing we've got a reef further out I've always wanted to try this reef further out all right what do we got to do got to get these wheels off still not used to the routine with this thing I might be in a bit too much water here it might float away from me Oh, do you mind? <laughs> that, that'd be awesome. <laughs> the flat up, yeah. Uh, oh, just up, just anywhere up on the beach. Right, I'll come find right, him. Cool. Um, right. But uh, oh, that'd be great. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> oh, that was nice. What have we got? We need this engine to go down once we get in a bit more water. We'll wait till the next wave and we'll pull it out. God, there's a lot of sand flies. Here we go. Here's some water.
That's wicked. So there's been a few improvements. Oh, look, my camera's all fogged up everywhere. <laughs> Great. This one's beaten down again, as usual. I'll have to figure out a tighter, better method for that. But uh, there's been a few slight improvements. The fuel tank, the main fuel tank is now inside the seat. And I'll just have to swap it over. Uh, I'll use the tank on the actual engine to get out. And then I can just plug it in once I'm through. Just to make it a better surf launch. Guys, how's this day? Look at it. Man, this is going to be good. Hopefully the fishing's good. A couple of other new, just simple uh, additions. We've got some rod straps now. There we go. Let's go out and try and catch some liveies. That's not what we're after. He is a beautiful looking little fish. Well, oh, yep. See you later. A bit rusty of some sort, maybe. Wish I had a sounder. This would be done and dusted already if I had a sounder. Yeah, this is not exactly what I was hoping to catch on the bait jig. A little brim. <laughs> oh, it's a tar, tar one. Ah, all right. Come on. Oh, you're off. Good. Come on, settle down. I'm gonna let you go. If I can pick you up. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> Here you go, buddy. Oh, more tangled. Oh, he could be. Could be a yaka that's just all tangled up in a funny way. Oh. Jagged him. Oh, you're off, you're off, good, good. Quick, let's get you in. They're good size ones, though. That's what we want. If I can just get him on here. Come on, get in there, get in there, in there. Yes. The bag, the bucket actually probably won't be able to take too many of them without them dying, so. Get these guys off so we can go fast. That's giving them a good breather. I've only got two, so I want them to be as healthy and as happy as possible. What I need is I need my phone because it's going to have the mark where I want to get to on it. I won't need it straight away, but I'll need it once I get a bit further out. Right. I think in the future I'll get a sounder that turned out something that should be like only just a few short minutes into like an hour affair which is not ideal <laughs> all right we'll let this first uh, bait out first live is on <laughs> Change your water in a second. Alright, we've actually got something on the lure here. Damn it. Get the bait jig in my foot. <laughs> oh, I didn't get off. Oh, it's back on. <laughs> oh. Let's see what this is, huh? Just taking some line. I hope it's not a shark. It'll be a lot less exciting than I want it to be. Oh, he got off. Oh, you almost felt like he got off. What is this? Bizarre. Jeez, look at him go out there. <laughs> We've got a fish at least. I wonder what it's going to turn out to be. Jeez, he's putting up a bit of... He's all at the top now though, which is... 
not making me very excited. I'm starting to think he could be a shark. Well, maybe he's got a, quite a bit of a bounce to him. Maybe it's a Mac tuna as well, because they do do this kind of upwards kind of thing. Yeah, it's a very bouncy ride. I got a feeling it's a tuna. Hopefully not Mac tuna. Had enough of those. First proper fish off the skiff though. Decided to keep the motor going just to give me some ability to move around. Ah, oh, it looks like a Mac tuna though. Looks like he might be hooking the side there. It was making him harder to get in. If it is a Mac tuna, it's a bit disappointing, but at least it's something. Maybe we can just kill that. Ugh. What have we got? Mac tuna. Damn, damn, damn. <laughs> oh well, you got a Got me excited for a second. Not a bad size one again. Oh, don't go under there. Oh, he's covered in blue bottles as well, so I might just sort of let him pop up like that. Please don't go too crazy. Ah, oh, there's blue bottles everywhere all over him. Let's see if we can get this out without him going berserk. Oh, I really don't want those blue bottles on me. Ah, oh, don't. Just don't. <laughs> Ah, all right. Uh, blue bottles. Go away. Ah, don't do it. Don't do it. I'm gonna let you go. Just chill. Yeah. I just don't want the blue bottles. <laughs> all right. Well, Mac tuna. Not really what we're after, but <laughs> but still, I'll take it. I will take it. All right. Nice on the skiff at least. Spear him back in. He's out of here. Alright, so if that's what's on offer, I'm a little less excited. <laughs> we got another one on. Oh no, I don't want that slug going straight through me though. I've got a feeling it's going to be another Mac Tuna though. Let's just kill it since time. Okay. Not as much bouncing rod though, but very erratic, fast tail beats. Hey. What have we got? What have we got? Wouldn't it be good if it was like a yellow fin? Oh, I don't think it's gonna be, but what have we got this time? Oh my god, it is a yellow fin! <laughs> no way! Where's that gaff? Get that gaff! Jelly bean! That is just like. Oh. Jeez, let's not lose him. Oh, look. Oh, not a very good gaff shot, but we will take it. Oh, all right. All right. That's a good fish. It's not big by any stretch, but after the weekend I've had, paddling around like crazy for very little, I will take it big time. Oh. Oh, no, 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 we're not going to do that. <laughs> we're not going to lose you now, mate. What a fish. He may not be the biggest fish, biggest yellowfin I've ever seen, but that is like perfect sashimi right there. He's coming home with me tonight. Well, uh, I can't seem to get anything on the livey. I tried around boat, come back out wide and... I uh, thought I might try, you know, have another crack at a tuna, but it doesn't seem like it's going to happen. So I'm just going to super high speed troll in. And even though it's getting a bit windy now, it's not really an issue for this thing. So I'm going to just burn in. But uh, yeah, good, uh, good fun at Outer Rock again. Pity uh, the fish didn't play the game in the kayak comp. And I put, mate, like, you know, at least 50 k's probably uh, when you add it all up, like, of kayak paddle time in. Just didn't work out, unfortunately. So stay tuned, there'll be lots of uh, lots more videos on uh, the kayak and this new little craft. So yeah. Oh well, let's go home and have some sashimi. I've got to get the barge home still. I'm gonna go and see the fam. I've been away for three days. I'm gonna cop it. I'm gonna be doing lots of uh, extra work I think now because I've had such a good holiday or break off. We'll blast in, have a bit of fun on the waves on the way in the swell. See you next video.
unless something happens on the way in, and then we'll have more video. Oh, that's right, I've got the t-shirt link up now. So there's a link up for the t-shirts. It says uh, rocketkit.com.au, but I'll put it in the description. So if you're keen, yeah, thank you for anyone that does support the channel, and uh, yeah, keep watching. We'll be back, hopefully with bigger fish. <laughs> See ya.